Hi guys, thanks for tuning in today. Today I want to talk about horseback riding, hippotherapy. Um, I was introduced to this um, form of therapy about 12 to 15 years ago when I lived in Ohio. At that time, one of our family friends, his daughter had autism, so they recommended that I try this out. So I remember I used to go once a week and um, at that point my um, only interaction with horseback running was cowboy, cowboy movies. Um, then I, when I moved to India in 2012, um, my mom found horseback riding for me and incidentally this riding was uh, five minutes away from my house and it, it's a good form of exercise. Um, a lot of strength is required. So last couple of weeks, um, I've been noticing, and when I go horseback riding, I go early in the morning. So I have to get five, five thirty, um, get there by six thirty, or quarter to seven, do my ride, come home, and I don't like, um, I don't like wasting the rest of the day. So I try to have one more therapy during the morning hours, so I'm seven to twelve. And um, I usually get five to seven hours of sleep. Um, so today I went horseback riding and uh, about two hours later I had a gym session. I observed myself and then I started asking him, hey, do you notice that I'm stronger today? Um, and he's like, for the last like, two times, he's like, yeah. Because I, um, I kid you not, when I go horseback riding, it's like I have I get a steroid boost. boost. I don't know how, but first of all, I don't get really enough sleep. Secondly, I wake up super early to do a very vigorous exercise, and then I just get a boost of energy. Not only of energy, of of like positivity. Whether you have autism, whether you're struggling with any other mental ailment, um, whether it's depression, whether it's attention, whether it's some, whether it's more physical. Um, I don't know how, but horseback riding or hippotherapy can definitely help and I urge you, if you have access to it, just try it out once or twice. Um, not only is it a great exercise, but I can't put my finger on it, but the coordination I get, the confidence I get, the self-esteem I get, it, it's just sometimes, it's just, I feel it's just magic. So when I go home, come home from horseback riding, the gratitude I have, whether it's my family, for my, my lifestyle, I can see the positivity in my, circumstances, the positivity, really in, in problems, I can think of solutions faster and better. And then throughout the years, I've grown a little bit bolder. So in the last couple of years, I flew to the United States alone. I flew to India alone. I went to Goa, so I traveled within India alone and I swam in the ocean for the first time. And um, my parents, or my family has noticed that I've gotten bolder. Um, I don't wanna ramble, but uh, you know, it's a first-hand experience and I think that's worth something. Um, you guys should definitely try it. So um, I'll see you guys next time. And till then, be grateful for what you have. And, um, I urge you to take something from me in this episode. I hope it's you'll try out horseback riding. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.